B-52 was vital in Operation Chrome Dome. Chrome Dome was a code name for the Strategic Air Command's Airborne Alert Program, which began in 1961 as tensions between the U.S. and Soviet Union deepened in the Cold War. Twelve B-52 stratofortresses would carry nuclear bombs on four different routes every minute of the day, 365 days a year. One route would take a B-52 over Greenland, another headed east over Spain, and a third route crossed the Pacific from Alaska to Japan, ready to strike targets in the Soviet Union at a moment's notice. For the next five years, these airborne alert missions would lead to a string of broken arrow events for the B-52. During an airborne alert mission, a B-52 from Seymour Johnson Air Force Base experiences structural failure. Two nuclear weapons separate from the aircraft during the breakup. The exact yield of the weapon, while still classified, is estimated to be greater than 20 megatons. One bomb's parachute deploys, and the weapon receives little impact damage, landing in a tree. Upon recovery of the intact nuclear weapon, it's discovered that five of the six safety devices had failed. Only a single switch prevented that bomb from detonating. It is calculated that a bomb of this size detonated over Detroit would result in almost two million casualties and over a million injuries. As a result of the Goldsboro accident, many new safety devices were placed on U.S. nuclear weapons, and the Soviets were encouraged to do the same. 